as one of those chronically online teenagers that old people are always griping about, and also as a car person, I can say that in my days, I've seen a fair share of dubiously built vehicles. But it always seems that a good majority of these cars are owned and built by celebrities that kind of like to pretend that they're interested in cars, but don't really know what they're talking about. And in today's video, I will be breaking down some of these builds and just intolerably ugly specs that celebrities have chosen to put on their cars. And the first celebrity that we're going to talk about today who has committed multiple crimes against car person kind is Kim Kardashian. And she claims, I've always been a car girl. I love cars. <laughs> And I think that she can be a car girl, but that doesn't mean she really knows what she's talking about. And before I get too deep into it, let me preface this, is I dislike the Kardashians immensely, like most normal people do. And this is possibly one of the stupid videos I've ever seen. And she's talking about like, oh yes. And I really wanted something different. Then she said, I wanted my cars to kind of blend in. And my house is gray, and I wanted them to kind of match the house. So I did all gray cars. And, and like, I mean, you, you want them to stand out by blending. Like, that's, that doesn't make any sense. And also, it doesn't help that every single, all three of the cars in this video are almost a million dollars. I mean, not almost, like, they're half a million dollars, probably. But they all look like something you see on Facebook Marketplace that has, like, only primer on it but they like primered over everything because they were like too lazy to mask it off and it doesn't help that the urus it has one of those man street body kits on it and it is the ugliest thing i've ever seen like those man body kits are bad enough when you could like see the body color but then it's got a little bit of that like marble looking carbon fiber forge stuff or whatever it is on there and like that's bad enough but you can see it even more like all the creases and folds and stuff when it's just one color and um it, it makes me so mad but i mean at the end of the day i guess i can't really tell her how to spend her money but like dang like you say you're a car person but then this is what you go for yeah i don't know i don't know oh and if you thought we were done talking about kim kardashian oh boy you got another thing coming because i just remembered that that Lamborghini Urus, and I don't know if it was this particular one or if it was another one, was subject to one of the worst, I wouldn't even call it raps that I've ever seen, but let me paint the picture for you. When you combine a car and a bathrobe, you would get this, and this deranged woman decided that she wanted to put cashmere, or I think, I think that's what it was, all over her car, and like, you, you don't do that. It was just covered with fuzzy stuff, and the interior was covered with fuzzy stuff, and I think she even put it over the wheels. And one, it's ugly, but also, you can't drive it anymore, because it's a little bit like having one of those, like, cushioned toilet seats or whatever. Like, as soon as you sit down on it, and, like, it's gonna get all matted and nasty, and bugs are gonna start to live in it. Or rather, bugs are gonna start to die in it, because that's what happens when you drive a car. And all I can say is the Kardashians, I would say, have probably the f far and away the worst car taste in the country, maybe. And the worst part is they all pretend that they know what they're talking about and that they like cars, but they're just doing it for likes on, on Instagram. I, I see what's going on. Our next questionable celebrity is Kanye West. And Kanye West is... A brilliant artist and uh, maybe not the most brilliant person but he has one car in particular that I would like to talk about and that is his Lamborghini Urus and I don't know what it is with these celebrities and absolutely vandalizing the already kind of ugly Lamborghini Urus but Kanye has vandalized it maybe not as bad as his ex-wife but it's pretty bad and let me paint the picture for you it's tan which I don't know why it's tan and it's got these chunky looking VIP but like bad VIP rims like the sort of VIP rims that would sit on the shelf of an up garage until they get sent to the scrapyard like nobody in their right minds would put these on an automobile except for Kanye West but again he's not really in his right mind so I guess that explains that and while it may seem like I'm bashing on Kanye I am 
but also I could give him a little bit of credit for his last notable car, which is the Maybach that he turned into like a Mad Max sort of vehicle for one of his music videos. And while many would say that this is sacrilege because he cut the roof off of a $300,000 car, I actually have to applaud him for this. And I think it's kind of a cool creative move to cut the roof off a $300,000 car. And, I don't know, that might just be me, though. Our next celebrity on the list is uh, Travis Scott. And along with being one of the most overrated rappers out right now, in my opinion, he also has some very interesting cars. And most of them that I've seen are all colored as if they're Hershey's bars. And I find it interesting that even though it's kind of a part of his brand, and I think I've talked about this in my uh, car TV shows video, but I don't really understand why you'd want to wrap your cars, or I don't even know if you wrapped them or painted them, but why would you would want to wrap them brown? Because that's like the most, I, I don't know. Again, it's like part of his brand, but it's so confusing that you would want to wrap your Lamborghini brown. And it, it's so obvious that he's like looking for attention with this, I feel like. I don't know, maybe I'm just hating a little too much and that's just what he likes. Like maybe his favorite color is brown or something. But like brown works good on his shoes, but on his cars, no. And also it doesn't help that he's got one of those Mansuri Uruses, which are literally some of the ugliest things known to man. Anyways, that's, that'll be Travis Scott's collection, kind of summarized. And the last car on this list belongs to Chief Keef. And while I would normally say that this creation is an abomination, it is owned by Chief Keef, and I love, I, I love Sosa. What do you mean by that? Um, so I have to give him a pass on this. And also, even if it wasn't owned by him, I think it's kind of funny, because it's just such a stupid concept that it's kind of cool. And of course, he made his Lamborghini Urus look like the Mystery Mobile from Scooby-Doo. And he put a wide body kit on it and some really terrible wheels. But I'm not as mad at it as I am Kim Kardashian's car collection. And it's not as bizarre as Kanye or Travis Scott. So I'm not really like too angry about it. 